Oh, hello, bid. It's your boy, Big Bid B, and we back for another edition of Big Bid Business. Today, I am back with another unboxing slash semi first impressions, and this one comes from the house of Mask Milano. Listen, man, I received a package in the mail. At this point, it's probably about two months ago. I think that's a fair assessment. Maybe two months ago, um, I received this package in the mail, and I did like a quick story on my Instagram. I like put a little video there. Say, hey, this is this is fire, flames, bam! Something, of the, I mean, it wasn't that intense, but you know, it was there. And I received two fragrances in the mail. One was La Tessa, and one was called Russian Tea. So they hit me up prior to sending me some fragrances. It's a big BB. We want to get your opinion on these Jimmy joints. And I was like, all right. So they said, which ones would you like to try? And I said, you know, um, let me look through this site and see what we got. And they said, hey, while you're at it, uh, Carlos from Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, he really likes La Tessa. And I said, you know what? Then send me that thing, cuz. And then they also sent me this one here, which is Russian tea. So, I've tried these. Um, as you see, not much, right? I've been trying to wait to get around to these things and really have like a full-on conversation with you guys about them. So this is that time. All right, so without any further ado, let me go ahead and spray these things and let you guys know what I think about them officially so let's start out with russian tea because i picked this one on my own um i went on their site checked everything out they had maybe i don't know i don't want to lie i think they had maybe you know 10 12 fragrances on their site maybe less maybe more let's go with 8 to 12 fragrances on their site um i picked russian tea just based on the description of it and i needed some more tea based fragrances in my collection and with the name like russian tea i thought it would have tea <laughs> All right, so good distribution, as you can see. This is good. So what I like about Russian tea is one that it's a light fragrance, right? So a lot of fragrances that I like, like Killian's and things like those, those are like heavy fragrances for the most part. And this one's light. And when I get around certain people or when I'm in certain type of environments, I really can't do a heavy fragrance. So this one is something that you can wear. Now, I'm not saying this is going to be best for work situations because it's not. But if you're in a situation where you don't want to you know, have a ton of fragrance out there, then this is one that you can wear. <clears throat> So with the name like Russian tea, you would imagine that it's tea heavy, and yes, it is. Although it's tea heavy, this one's refreshing as well. There's some mint that I can get from this one, and I believe it's like black tea or green tea or something, but the tea is definitely there. I get these undertones of mint as well. It comes off as very refreshing. This is a niche quality fragrance. This is a niche house, and you can definitely like smell the difference in something like this one and like, you know, I don't know, I don't even know like a, a designer tea fragrance that I can think of off the top of my head right now that I could compare this one to, but nonetheless, I like it. Quality's there, it's dope. I'll get into the pricing on these exactly. I will have to look it up because I do not know the pricing of these off the top of my head, but so far, I like it. Performance wise, I'm not sure how this one lasts because I haven't worn it out yet. Um, I don't think I've worn this one. I think I've worn La Tessa maybe once or if I've worn it around the house. I have to like circle back around on that one. But And then the other one here, La Tessa, this is the one that they said uh, Carlos was singing his praises about. I think I went through and watched one of his reviews on this one. So to me on first spray, La Tessa comes off as like this bright fragrance. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. For some reason, and I'm not sure the notes on this one yet, but I feel like there's like some cucumber here. And I know cucumber is probably like a weird note and it's probably not there, but that's what it smells like to me. It's like, think about like a salad. If you're having a salad, right? And it's very crisp and I get like that cucumber type of vibe from this one. I'm gonna have to look the notes up because I don't believe that cucumber is in here, but it smells like it. And if it is, then yeah. I don't recall cucumber being, being in here, but I do like it. It makes me think of like a salad, like, like, eat me because I'm healthy. Aside from that cucumber type of vibe here, there's also a bit of freshness to it as well. And I also get like this woody aspect of it too. So maybe some sandalwood. This is clean, very clean fragrance. I, man, I don't know, I'm not sure which one I like the most. My wife's not looking at me right now. She's looking at her phone. Continue not looking at me right now. Okay, thank you. Let's find out which one she likes the best. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You like this one more? Yeah. All right, so we both decided on Russian tea. I like Russian tea the best. This one's still solid though. Clean, clean, clean. This one's more seductive and provocative to, 
I was gonna say that one's more annoying. Really? This one's more annoying to you too? So, dope house. Give me a second. I'm going to see if I can tell you what the price points are. You know what? I'm just gonna link it below. That's all you guys care about anyway. So if you tried this brand, have, are you familiar with them? Latessa Russian Tea. Let me put you in the hands that you're sprayed on. Russian Tea. Latessa, both solid fragrances, both nice releases for in the house. Um, now I'm not sure if they are from Grass or if they are like uh, of their companies just based there, or if they had like a backstory around Grass. Not sure if you guys are familiar with Grass, but I've done like uh, videos before of other fragrance houses um, that are based around that area and quality niche companies. I like these two. Um, if you have any experience with these, comment below and let me know your thoughts. Are these? two that you would recommend for in the house or do you have others that you like more? That's what I have for you so far on these two men, my first impressions of those. Um, that's what I have, man. As always, I'm your boy, Big B. B. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend that we all back again. No, I'm not gonna tell him. All right. He told me to tell you, hit the goddamn bell.